25 on 105.9 The X. Caden Cross back with us here on the X Morning Show. Bill is going to be our contestant to play Are You Smarter Than? Bill is playing for Carnival of Madness tickets, Shinedown, Skillet, Papa Roach, In This Moment, and We as Human. Brent Smith from Shinedown was on with us last week. You can hear that interview. It's still podcast at WXDX.com. Penguin game tonight after the game is over. Make sure you head down to Cheerleaders in the Strip District where they do not have a spinning pole. So you can see Caden Cross perform. She's in town. She's back in Pittsburgh after we said before like three or four years. Right. Here you are uh, spending all your time not coming to Pittsburgh so you can be a big time political advocate from what I understand, <laughs> right? Weren't you part of this whole coalition of adult entertainers that was working against the bill that was introduced in California to make porn stars wear condoms and use dental dams and things like right. that? Um, I'm not a part of the coalition that a handful of performers have put together. I am one of the um, plaintiffs on a litigation against the county. Okay. Uh, it's myself and Logan Pierce and then Vivid Entertainment and I believe there's one other company involved. With the amount of money that the adult entertainment industry rakes in, it makes me wonder if those who put forth the initiative, or the state, or the county, or whoever, is it the county that you're actually fighting on this? We are fighting two counties now, and then oh. it's probably going to be the state pretty soon. So do they know how much money you can spend on this? Like, I know that sometimes when a public entity gets involved yeah. in a lawsuit like that, they hope to just run the other people into the ground. Well, I, but I think the, that's more of a misconception these days. Um, everyone wants to believe that it's like a $10, or a ten, $10 billion industry. Um, but with all the piracy and just the economy taking the downturn that it's taken and everything, um, most things are internet now instead of DVD sales. We don't have the, the free cash to just throw at this. Um, obviously, it's such an important issue that we'll find the cash to, to try to fight it, but it's not just the windfall that it was. It's not a cash cow anymore. Did it ever cross the minds of you or some of the other people who are involved in this effort that maybe, I'm just wondering here, are people just going to watch it and buy it anyway? Like, Do you, do you think that it's going to hurt your sales that much that it's worth the effort? Not, I understand what you're, where you're coming yeah. from. Like, You don't want people stepping on your turf, right? right? But at the same time, is it worth the money and the effort? Because aren't people going to buy you naked anyway? Well, it's it's kind of a, I mean, yes and no. Um, there are going to be fans who will always buy the, the work of their favorite girls. Like, there are fans who buy my work even though I've been doing just boy-girl uh, scenes for the entire time I've been in the industry. Um, whereas most fans, like, after a girl doesn't do a new thing for a certain number of months or years, they just move on. Mm -hmm. um, but for the most part, people buying DVDs are probably only going to spend money on the things they absolutely want, otherwise there's just a plethora of free content out there. And it's only the big companies that are going to be forced to abide by the law, because the little companies can just shoot under the radar. So we're already facing so much, um, being the, the big studios, that this little thing could be the tipping thing. King Cross is with us here on 105.9 The X. She's going to be at Cheerleaders in the Strip District. You have to confirm or deny a piece of information okay. I found on the internet, all right? All right? This is either the greatest myth or the greatest story ever about how I got into porn. Sort of the cliched radio DJ oh, question yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. when a girl comes in to do an interview like this or do a segment like this is, hey, how'd you get into porn? And then you're supposed to give some sort of long story about how a boyfriend did you wrong and this is right. your way to <laughs> stomp on him and his memory for the next 20 years or whatever. But mm -hmm. did you you really get into porn because you wanted to buy a pony? I wanted to save a pony. <laughs> oh, save a pony. I wanted to save a pony. He was going to be slaughtered. Because um, when, when horses that... Don't... So you went to the slaughterhouse and said, I'm here, well, get no, the camera. I went to the uh, I went to the ranch that was going to send him to the auction. And they just wanted a dollar a pound for him. And I didn't have any extra cash. I was 18. And so I went to the strip club and I made all the money I needed in like one day. And then I brought my little pony home, and then I was like, now there's like vet bills, and there's upkeep, and all this other stuff. And on top of that, that was the easiest money I'd ever made, so I just kept going back. <laughs> so I got to keep dancing to pay right? for the pony, right? <laughs> yeah. So how big is the ranch that you own now? Oh, I wish. I wish. Is that what you want to retire and do? Um, is like, yeah, oh. I got. I, I was so close. I was looking at a property in upstate New York. and um, I What was town? A, it was... Uh, it was right by Stone Ridge, Middleton. Oh, okay. Um, All right. I think they're like... That's not that's uh, it was in the, the city. Valley. Okay, yeah. And uh, yeah, basically, I I had my little like three horses I was gonna take out there, and then you know. Do you I, still have that pony? No, no. I uh, that turned into this this little enterprise for me. I I rehabbed him. It took about eight months, and then I 
uh, found a home for him and used the adoption money to buy this like mare that had been uh, basically impregnated way more at slaughter, same thing. Mm -hmm. And she had a baby a couple months later, and then I see that's cheating because she's got an, a foal inside of her, so it's extra per pound, right? Yeah, it was it was it was pretty pretty. Oh, it's another another trip really on the spinny pole, <laughs> right? <laughs> So how long did the pony stay with you? Um, that pony for about eight months. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And when you fell into the career thereafter, do you look back at the pony fondly and say like it was a mutual benefit between the two of you or what? Yeah, I still have a little picture of him hanging on my fridge. So it wasn't right into porn, it was into dancing. Yeah, it was dancing and then it went into porn from that. It was basically just a, kind of a natural progression, the gateway drug. <laughs> the gateway drug. <laughs> I like that. So um, you're at Sacramento State when this happened, yes? Um, no, I was 18. I was in community college at the time. All right. What did you do when you went to Sacramento State? I was still, I was still dancing. At uh, no, I mean, like, what would you, what, would you uh, what were you studying? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I was studying psychology. All right. Because I can tell by your tweets, you're a very deep thinker. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it's not a lot of, uh, you know, dropping in random pictures of you doing whatever you're doing and, you know, like quoting rap songs or anything like that. Right. You, quote philosophers and so forth on your Twitter account. It's mostly just like sarcastic commentary on the state of the world. It's yeah, but I like it though. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's a plus. It makes me feel smarter having read the Twitter account of an adult entertainer. I feel like I broadened my horizons somewhat. Well, that's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> now, how did you get so tight with Kirsten Price? Um, I, well, I've Okay, how do Because she's a deep thinker, too. No, no, I, I just, I'm, I'm trying to figure out the words to, to not make you hit the drop button. I have been intimate with Kirsten Price. <laughs> okay, on camera. <laughs> yes. We've worked together. <laughs> We've worked together, um, done a number of conventions together, radio together. We hosted the Avian Awards together. Um, so we've just been paired enough times, and she's an awesome person, has a great personality, and that makes it easy. Now, she has dominated Are You Smarter Than? She has, has she? blown through the competition. Yeah. Really? Yeah, she's that good. And she built up your trip here saying that the caller, whoever it is, doesn't have a chance. We were See, talking about pressure. on Twitter. That's a lot of pressure. And if I you saw win, that I saw that conversation chain last night when I got off the plane. I was like, oh no, man, I'm gonna have to sleep tonight and get some coffee in the morning and really come at it. Right. So when you go to cheerleaders, uh, whoever it is, I think it's Bill who's on hold. If you beat Bill, he because mm -hmm. you wanted to win cash prizes. Which yeah, of course, I was hoping for a cash prize. <laughs> because of the FCC violation that we're going to have now, I'm not going to have any money oh, to give you. Oh, that's going to go towards the fine that, right. I, that I got you. Okay. So that's Bill fair. has to tip you extra if you go, <laughs> and then uh, we will give you one of the floor shirts. Okay. okay. Now, Kirsten was talking about the floor shirt, which, again, she wanted something for playing and winning, and of course, then we had nothing either. We had right. a t-shirt on the floor, so you get you get a floor shirt as well if you win. Hey, you know what? That, that's fair. I'll All right. That. So when we come back, Bill will go up against Caden Cross for Are You Smarter Then? Uh, again, by the way, she's going to be at Cheerleaders tonight, midnight, and then tomorrow, 11 and 1, 3100, Liberty Ave. Oh, I should give you a chance. Uh, your website, DVD, what's the name of the DVD again? Uh, the one I'm holding is called Code of Honor. Code of Honor, all right. Code of Honor, and we won't tell you what the code is, but it involves your sister and something that somebody is doing to your sister and they should stop <laughs> doing, right? No, that was, that was a joke. Oh, that was a joke. I thought there was the actual dot, 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 rest of the name of the title. That was me flirting with the drop button again. Oh. <laughs> no, no, it's like, it's like the Expendables, except for we're all ageless. I like it. <laughs> so uh, you can win the DVD too, Bill, if you're on your game. This is 105.9 The X. This is The X Morning Show. It's 105.9 The X, your home of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Tim Benz with you here until 10 o'clock. Bob's going to check in from Nemecolon in a little bit. we got the Penguin game tonight. At 8 o'clock after the game, make sure you head to cheerleaders in the Strip District. Caden Cross is here. She was joining us earlier, and she's back with us now to play Are You Smarter Than against Bill. Bill is called in. Bill, where are you calling from? Uh, Penn Hills. Penn Hills. All right, Bill, if you win, you get to see the Carnival of Madness Tour, First Niagara Pavilion, on August the 20th. But more importantly, you get to see Caden Cross regardless tonight at cheerleaders in the Strip District. By the way, Shinedown, Skillet, Papa Roach, in this moment, and we as human all on the bill for the first Niagara Pavilion show on August the 20th with Carnival of Madness. Bill, are you ready to play the game against Caden? For sure. Okay, she's going to kick your ass. I hope you're patently aware of that right now, okay? I am. Enjoy every minute of it. Caden, you get question number one, all right? Okay. You have to live up to the billing years. A lot of hype. <clears throat> oh, man, this is nerve-wracking. Question number one. Bible knowledge. Oh God. Okay. You said you didn't want pop culture, so I went in exactly the yeah, opposite this direction. Yeah, pop. <laughs> Bible knowledge. All right. In 2007, you had signed with Adam and Eve Entertainment. <laughs> okay. What animal tempted Eve? 
to eat the fruit from the tree the in the serpent. garden. There you go, the serpent. Very good. I won't have you drag out the analogy for the serpent and the right. snake anymore, but you are one for one. All right. Bill, you ready? Yep. Geography is your question. Caden is Swedish. Sweden boards, uh, excuse me, borders Finland and Norway. It is connected to a third country via a tunnel and a bridge. What country is connected to Sweden via a tunnel and a bridge? Uh, Germany. Germany! That's the world's <laughs> biggest freaking bridge I've ever heard of, Bill. It is not Germany. Can you steal, Caden? Um, is it Denmark? I don't know. It is Denmark. Yes! <laughs> two for two! I've never heard of a bridge to Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> never heard of a bridge to Germany either. That's true. <laughs> There's some walls around Germany, but they're not around anymore. We don't need to go down that path. Lastly, and you can win right here I in a win. 3 nothing sweep. This wow. is the sweep we were guaranteeing earlier. <laughs> Animal science is the question. Sable Island, Sandalwood, Tibetan, and Shetland are all types of what animal? Okay, sorry, Sable? Tibetan. Sable Island, uh -huh. Sandalwood, Tibetan, and Shetland are all types of what animal? There's a Tibetan pony, a Shetland pony. There's not a Sable Island pony that I know of. I'm going to go with pony. But... Pony is correct. <laughs> it's why you got into the industry, right? <laughs> yes. There you go. Three for three. As promised, Caden Cross, a blowout win. Bill, I'm sorry. You do not get to see the Carnival of Madness because you're not smarter than Caden Cross. Can I give you one question to feel better since she blew you out so fast? I'm Bill... you. Okay. Um... She went to Cal State Sacramento. That was the college that Caden went to. So did Tom Hanks. When Tom Hanks was there, he was an acting major. He won two Oscars. Give me one movie that Tom Hanks has won the best actor Oscar for, Bill. Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump is correct. Do you know the other one, Caden? Um... You were just there. It was, it was just there. It was Philadelphia. Was she just in Philadelphia? No, that Philadelphia? was just me mixing up Pittsburgh with Philly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> on Twitter, right? Was it Philadelphia? <laughs> Philadelphia was the other one, yes. Bill, that's a hell of an effort. Good job out of you. Tell you what, Bill. Um, I'm going to give you Carnival of Madness tickets anyway, all right? That's awesome. All right. I'm going to give you the Carnival because you, you just were against a stacked deck. She's too good. We knew that she was going to be this good, and you ran into a buzzsaw. You deserve to go. I'll give away an extra pair of tickets to the next person that calls in as well. Have fun, Bill, okay? Oh, thanks, Sam. Your, uh, your tickets will be at the front desk to go see Caden tonight, and we'll tell you about the tickets that you can win for Carnival of Madness. We'll call you, all right? All right, sounds good. 412 333 WXDX. That's how you get a hold of us right now to win Carnival of Madness tickets as well. Caden, it's great having you in. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. It's 1059 The X.